Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and uh, we got the Jazz Miner up and running. We're actually connected to it. Uh, this is the default page that you would see uh, where you can see all your IP information, the status. Obviously, the board is not hashing at the moment. You can set this up in the original miner, just like I showed, uh, you know, Angry IP Scanner, you can scan. Um, uh, you can look at your router, right? Like some routers will show what device is where. Uh, you scan that IP range, you select it, and now it's just a matter of configuring everything. You got your pools up here towards the top. You got your wallet address slash account. You can choose whether or not you want the IP to show on the prefix or name. I chose no. And I'm trying to see if I can mine to the nice hash pool for ETC hash, which is the most profitable for this particular miner. But also the first thing you should always do with any ASICs or miners is reset the admin password. You type in the current and then the new password twice. Sometimes it might give you a little bit of issue, just be patient. Uh, but the default is root for the user and root for the password. Then you got your log, of course, where you can see some information, uh, see what's going on. Maybe, maybe there's something uh, killing the task right here. So that's a minor configuration problem that I need to adjust. You can also upgrade the firmware. There is a new firmware on the downloads page for Jazz Miner. Uh, it looks like this one is from July 26, 2022, the X4. You're looking for the 3U. Um, and if we wanted to confirm what the current firmware is, it looks like the date's right there. So version April 24th, 2022. So obviously there's a new firmware version. We're gonna go ahead and download that. And we can manually uh, update it through either the web interface or we could even do it through this program right here, uh, SL underscore minor. And you click file selection, select the file, upgrade, so on and so forth. But we're gonna go ahead and continue playing around with this until I can make sure it's hashing and showing some network activity uh, and then finalize the video, bear with me here. So we updated the firmware. Uh, everything has looked like it's detected. It's just not hashing away, even though the minor configs are set up. I might play around with different pools and stuff like that just to see. We can see during the log, uh, it's detecting the boards, it's detecting the temperature sensors. Uh, everything is looking okay. It looks like it did a hard reset there, or I did a hard reset earlier. Updating the pool, the password, waiting for task. So the log, I'm going to keep an eye on and make sure that everything is good. But we did upgrade the firmware, very simple. Just click here, go to your downloads, select it, hit upload image, and then that's it. It will reboot after it's done. And let's see if this actually connects right now. You can see it says status dead. So I'm gonna continue playing around and see where we're having issue. Maybe it doesn't like this pool for some reason, but I know it seems like some people are able to do it. So not exactly sure what exactly is going on there, but we'll see. So finally got it working. Bad news is the nice hash does not work. It looks like I'm not the only one that uh, was trying to do it as well. Uh, but we can see here at the uh, status page that we are connected, we're getting about uh, 1086 mega hash or 1080 um, giga hash. Uh, excuse me, not 1000. That'd be sweet though. Uh, one 1.08 giga hash. Uh, and yeah, you can see the works accepted. One rejected share. The pools that I tried were two miners and Ethermine. Both of those work, but nice hash would not. We can see each hash board is doing. One is actually doing 540. Wow, and the other one's doing 512. Temp is 40 to 48. We might do some K-type, uh, you know, thermal couples and test out the temperatures, the fans, which again are in the back. They're, they're kind of sucking air in from the front, which is being fed cool air from outside um, and pulling it through the system. So that's staying nice and cool. And I can confirm there are uh, shares being submitted at the pool, but just to reiterate, unfortunately, whether it's dagger or ETC hash, uh, nice hash algorithms does not seem to, or at least the address doesn't seem to work. If I get it working, I'll let you know, maybe there might be a firmware update in the future, 
but for right now, no. And just to show you, when I was on two miners, we were submitting shares. Uh, the hash rate was climbing just like it is climbing right now on Ethermine. Obviously, it's going to take a minute for it to show the 1000 mega hash or one giga hash. Uh, but we are successfully connected to both of the pools. It's just nice hash won't work. Fans are around 1600 RPM. And just don't forget to change your password. The current one, it would be root or the default. And then give it a new password times two. Hit update and you should be good to go. It's going to make you re-log in. And you can do everything right from here. You can use the SL underscore minor or something like that. Uh, but I like to use the web GUI. Uh, and make sure to get the latest firmware from their website, which is right now at time of filming, July 26, 2022. That's pretty much it. Very easy, just like uh, most ASICs, right? You get the IP, you, you do a little quick scan of your network or look on your router, get the IP of the system, log in, configure your hash rate, or excuse me, your pools and URLs and everything, and hash it away. Now that we're all connected, good to go, um, especially after there was some loose connections stopping me from mining before. I'm not exactly sure why this is a little scratch right here, but this thing is hashing away. We're going to let it go and I'll come back with a follow up video after about a week or some change uh, when possible so we could look at profitabilities. Right now, I would say with the current uh, system, we would be around, let's see here, about $2, around $2 in profit. Uh, looking at fiat because the system is so efficient uh, You can see on the kilowatt meter. We're only pulling about uh, 510 minus 60. It's about 400 something watts Not too bad whatsoever uh, 420 430 watts thereabouts which should be on par for what this thing says it can do Yeah, 480 watts. So it's actually running a little bit more efficient and getting a little bit better of a hash rate uh, than what the specs page uh, says. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if there's firmware or maybe I just got a, a good sample. But $2 a day profit, or if we look at it, only about 0.11 Ethereum Classic or 448 Galisto or 0.27 uh, Ethereum Proof of Work or POW. And then Ethereum Fair, which is a, a newer coin that's showing up on the market, about two of those a day so on and so forth. Let me know what your thoughts are of this thing down in the comments below. If you want to check one out, I have a link down to Jingle Mining in the description. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed and hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out all the uh, different links in the description that help support the channel and what we do here. Take care. I'll catch you next one.